Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. We're here for the first e-commerce espresso of 2020, the first of the decade in fact, and we're really excited to be back in business. It's promising to be a very good one. If you were with us for these sessions last year, then it's great to have you back. Um, if you've not dialed in before, then a very warm welcome. We keep these sessions quite short, no longer than a coffee break in fact, giving you just enough actionable insight to take away and in, really implement effectively. As these webinars are very short and sweet, we don't have time for a Q&A, unfortunately, but if you do have any questions that you'd like to put to myself or our speaker, then do drop us a tweet at LoyaltyLionHQ using the hashtag e-commerce espresso. So I'm very excited, speaking of today's guest, to introduce Sharon Goldstein. Sharon is CEO at Limespot, and Limespot deliver real-time personalization at scale. Sharon herself has over 15 years of experience in digital media and marketing, so it's really fantastic to have her with us today. Thanks so much for joining us, Sharon. Can you give us a little bit of an overview as to what you guys are doing over at LimeSpot? Thanks so much for having us. Uh, LimeSpot is an AI-driven personalization platform. We use people, product, and intent data, um, 100 billion data points of that, uh, to drive the best personalization for your website. Customers who use us see a 20 to 28% increase in revenue and three to five X conversion, making a significant difference in your uh, monthly sales numbers. Uh, our platform is a continuous optimization platform, which means that you can set it and forget it if you want, and it will just continue to work off your catalog, or um, you can do manual curation any place along the way. Uh, we work from recommendation, we, we, our recommendations are from the homepage all the way through the post-purchase experience and comes with deep analytics to understand both your uh, customers and your products, as well as a robust A-B testing platform for ongoing optimization. Amazing. Thanks, Sharon. Anything personalization, uh, data-driven or A-B testing is really in our wheelhouse, so I'm really excited to get into these questions <laughs> with you. <laughs> Fantastic. So to kick off our first question, a little bit loyalty and retention related, because obviously that's our topic of choice over here at Lost Line. But um, what are your top three retention tips for merchants who are using AI powered site personalization? Absolutely. So one of the challenges that uh, customers tend to have when they come to a website is choice overload. They may know they're looking for something or they're just like, let me find an interesting top or um, hey, I want need something black that matches my jeans. Um, so what you want to think about is how do you curate the customer journey, right? And that's one of the things that you can do with personalization is really, um, is really identify, do I want to give customers this opportunity to see trending items? Should I do uh, recently viewed related items? How do you guide that journey? So that's step one is identifying what you want your customer journey to really look like. Um, the second thing is continuous optimization. Uh, if you think about your site, it's a living site, customers are coming back, you constantly want that experience to be fresh, right? So looking at how you can delight those customers um, and testing what's going to work best with your, um, with your customers uh, via multivariate experience. Um, the third piece is using um, AI-powered personalization in emails. Uh, and, and what that does is basically uh, if you segment your customers both on behavior data and on what they've bought. So, for example, uh, you say, I want to reach customers on the West Coast who have bought, um, bought my products in the last 30 days. Uh, you can then take that customer set, export it to your email system and, um, and send recommendations based on that customer's behavior and who they are. And that model really makes them feel known because that's a really big piece of this retention piece is having a, a consumer feel like you understand them, you are a fit for them. So that's, um, those are those, uh, the three tips that I would have. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I think um, making a customer feel valued and like you understand them is is absolutely invaluable because actually the choice paralysis that you mentioned or the, having too much choice doesn't just come down to the products when you arrive on a site. It's the number of people you can buy those things from now as well. So yeah, absolutely. Just showing that you know them and that you understand their behaviors is absolutely so important. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, question number two. 
What are AB and multivariate testing and how can this actually help an e-commerce store? So for those people out there who kind of have heard the buzzwords but aren't quite sure what they're talking about. So that's a great question. Um, A-B testing is simply testing two experiences, an A, experience one, and a B. Typically, you do this for a single variable. Um, it could be placement onto where you place an area like uh, trending onto the website, um, or, whether, um, or whether most popular versus related items works best on a page. Um, and what you're doing is you're looking to measure and in our system, you can measure everything from um, what drives conversion, click-throughs, uh, what the behaviors are afterward, and obviously um, the overall revenue that's driven by the two experiences. So uh, multivariate is the ability to do this with multiple variables in that same experience. So what that does is gives you a way to do it, do your testing more rapidly, and to really look at your site um, across the experiences. And the reason you want to do these things, obviously, you know, we just talked about performance, um, but you, and, and creating the optimal customer journey, but you also um, want to make sure that every time you're doing a refresh on the site, that you are keeping that high value experience for your customer. Mm, absolutely. And I th thank you for putting that so succinctly, because I think it can be quite an overwhelming concept for people. And um, they know they need to test, they know they need to A-B test, but actually there are so many different things that you could be testing. Um, so it, it's great to hear it, it put so, um, so simply. And I think um, I, I love that you went straight into, OK, and that this is how you measure that as well, because, again, that's a, there's no point doing it if you're not going to test the success. So um, fantastic. Thank you. And finally, our third question. Can you talk, talk us through some of the biggest success stories you've seen at LimeSpot and what kind of impact your, your product has had on some merchant growth? Sure. So um, one of the things um, that's interesting from a success perspective is that each customer that comes on our system uh, starts to see their results on day one. So literally, you start using our product today. You can be a success story tomorrow. Uh, we um, and that is because we have a hundred billion data points that feeds our system across that people, product, and intent information. Um, so, but let's talk about a spe some specifics here. So, uh, Loyalty Lion and LimeSpot have a joint customer, a fantastic beauty company called Spongel. And in the first three months of implementation, um, we have seen that 58% of their revenue has come through the LimeSpot components of their website, and that those areas see a 40% conversion uh, versus an 11.3% conversion on standard navigation. So this is something that, again, as we talked about, is something that you can continue to optimize. And obviously, those numbers um, make a big difference for any customer that uses our product. Absolutely. Those are some fantastic numbers. Thank you so much. Um, brilliant. So I, as um, Sharon's just alluded to, we do have an integration between LimeSpot and Loyalty Lion, so you can start using your loyalty points within your product recommendations. If you'd like any more information on that or um, to hear from Sharon or myself at all, then please do get in touch. Um, if you have questions about this e-commerce espresso in particular, you can tweet us using the hashtag e-commerce espresso at Loyalty Lion HQ. Um, we'll also be sharing a recording of the session shortly, so do feel free to share that with your team members as well. Sharon, thanks again so much for joining us. It's been great having you online today. Thank you. It's been great being here. Brilliant. And we look forward to seeing you all at our next e-commerce espresso soon.